If you're the person who wakes up, does work, is fantastic at it, but then takes three days off, you're gonna lose. They say that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard, and it's completely true. You have to be consistent, you have to decide. Are you the kind of person who wants to make a lot of money in this life and live a life of freedom? Or are you the kind of person who wants to look back when he's 30, on his 20s, or 40 on his 30s, and look at that decade and go, what did I do with that decade? Well, I didn't get rich. I didn't travel the world and live like they do and take confidential. What did I do? Well, I had a day off here, a day off there, a bunch of nothing days that amalgamate into this decade of nothingness, and you're just wasting your time. If you want to win, you need to be consistent. You don't need to be the smartest, not at all, but you have to be the guy who's there day after day. And I guarantee you, I will guarantee you right now, IQ has nothing to do with how successful you'll be as a real world student. What is gonna determine how successful you're gonna be is, are you there every single day? Are you doing what you're supposed to do day after day? I can also apply this to sales. I knew guys who were terrible on the phone. Back in my day on sales, you used to have to call companies. I was smooth, I was the best. We had some other guys who were smooth. They'd land a deal, go buy a nice car, whatever, take a few days off, take it easy. We had people who were terrible. And when I say terrible, I mean they had a thick Indian accent, didn't speak English that well, didn't know the script that well, didn't know the answers, but they were always in the top 20% of the company because they just hammered the phone. They just were on it. They needed to feed their family in Bangladesh. They didn't give a fuck. They were just calling. That's it, day after day. When you're on lunch break, he's on the phone. You can win with hard work alone. And that's what's amazing about the universe when I say that. God will give you anything you truly want. If you truly want money and you truly try hard, you truly listen to us, you are gonna have as much money as you could possibly ever desire. But if you think you want money, but you kind of want something else, or if you're arrogant, or if you're lazy, you're gonna end up somewhere in the middle if you're lucky and talented. And if you're not talented, you're gonna end up at the bottom. So you don't wanna be a normal dude, because when you're a normal dude, you're a loser. You don't get to do amazing things. What's interesting is none of you have had a normal life. You've had a unique and individual life path. The things you've gone through, nobody else on the planet has gone through. You've lived certain experiences, the school you went to, the time you were picked on in that class, the girl who broke your heart, every single thing you've been through is unique, like a fingerprint, a completely unique life. And somehow you've managed to stay completely non-unique. It's almost impressive how you can have a completely unique life experience and still end up average. How the fuck did you do that? Your life's different than everyone else's and you still look and talk and sound and act like everybody else, like a dummy. That happened because you have not paid enough attention into analyzing your life, self-analysis. Every single time something good happened to you, every single time something bad happened to you, you've not spent enough human hours sitting and thinking and trying to work out why it happened how to make sure the good things happen more often, how to make sure the bad things happen less, less often. What was God trying to teach you? He was trying to teach you something. You think, oh, I just felt scared. No, God sent you a lesson, but you didn't pay any attention to it. Do you understand? Everything that's happened to you has been sent from God himself to guide you on a unique path, everything good and everything bad. And the point of the unique path is that you end up a unique person, but you are failing. If you're a full grown man, you should feel deep shame at the fact that you can't do what I can do. Yeah, I'm top G. I am your superior in every human metric. Any way you can possibly measure humans, I surpass you. Yes, I agree. But you should still be angry in your heart that I destroy you so easily. You should feel sad about that. My unique life path has led me to have a very unique human experience as Top G, the most respected man on the face of the planet, the most Googled person on earth. Everybody loves Top G. All the women want him, the men want to be him. That's who I am. My unique life path has resulted in me being a super unique person. And your unique life path has resulted in fucking nothing. You're still a fuck up and you're still average and you're still a loser. The best story you could possibly tell me about the happiest day of your life would pale in comparison to my average fucking Tuesday. And it is your fault. God is unhappy with you because you're not trying hard enough. God hates the lazy. God wants people who try. You understand? He's created all of us. And he's looking down. He's seen the ones who are really trying. He's seen the people who don't try at all. And then he's seen people like you. Most of you are in this category. Somewhere in the middle. You've convinced yourself you're trying. 
and you tell other people you're trying, deep, dark, in the middle of the night, really, you know, you're not trying as hard as you fucking should. I think that breakfast is the worst thing that's ever happened to humanity. It's it's terrible. You're gonna wake up and just eat a bunch of food you didn't you haven't had to do any work, you haven't had to hunt for that food, kill that food, you haven't made any money, you've done nothing of conquest. I think when people wake up and the first thing they do is, is put food in their mouths, I think it's a bad mental model to approach the day with. I think you should wake up and you should stay hungry. You should stay hungry for a long time. Why not? We ain't gonna die. You can go weeks without food. You yeah. should wake up and you should stay hungry for hours and hours and hours until you've made some money or done something of note or been to the gym or progressed in some way so you think I deserve this. A lot of people come to me and say, how do I become successful? And I say, you're lazy. And they say, I'm not lazy. You are fucking lazy. Everybody is monumentally lazy. Nobody understands what genuine work ethic and ethos is. And for me, it's hard to understand because I struggle to not work. I struggle to sleep. I struggle to relax. I can't sit and watch Netflix. I can't sit and play video games. I can't do the dumb shit everyone does. All I can do is conquer Earth. I can't even turn my brain off long enough to become unconscious. So it's very difficult for me to understand people who sit there and go, yeah, I want to be successful, but I can't find the motivation. Every waking second, you need to be working. And, 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 and I'm going to handle every excuse because I want to answer this question yeah. compendiously. Because most people who come to me and say, oh, I'd love to be rich. No, you wouldn't. Because if you'd love to be rich, you'd be working. Now the people say, well, I don't know what to work on. That's another lie. And the reason that's a lie is because there's always more work to do. Now, how much you care about something is directly correlated to how much work you find to do. Mm -hmm. If you truly love a coin, you can polish it forever, right? You can find work to do. If you sit and go, all oh, my work's done, then you haven't tried to find work. You can always find work. I don't give a shit if you're a carpenter. I'm a carpenter and I finish my work. You go drop leaf bits about carpentry. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to stay home. Then you don't want to be rich. There you go. There's your fucking answer. So there, you can find work to do in any sphere. My entire life is work. And when I say that, people think that's depressing. No, it's not. It's not depressing. I love it. Every single thing I do is work. When I go to the gym, it's so I'm in fantastic shape so I can call everyone a brokey and they don't want to come up to me on the streets and I'll fuck them up. Work. When I come here and do a podcast and have a nice conversation with you gentlemen, work. Life is work. Existence is work. If I'm awake, I'm working. I really believe the universe is ultimately giving. I've never seen anybody or any experience in my life where somebody has dedicated their all and tried their very best to something and not had it. I've never seen somebody, maybe correct me, right? You'll know even better than me. I've never seen somebody who eats right, trains twice a day like an animal, never misses a gym session, diet on point, does everything they're supposed to do and not be stopped. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. So when you meet a guy, I just can't get in shape. Because you're not trying. Something's wrong. Because right? you're not trying. You're not eating right. Something's you're wrong. You're not trying. Yeah. And if you actually wanted it, you'd do it. So gotcha. everyone goes, oh, I don't have motivation. If you don't have motivation to be better.